All right, what's up, YouTube? Here we are in Ray's image. Um, this one just has the fixes on it. That's it. Not much else going on. Final Burn Alpha 2012 was installed. Got my Wi-Fi set up. You know, all the basic things that should be fairly easy to do, and I've made videos about them before. And uh, this one's, uh, I went back a couple versions to kind of get a cleaner copy of this. So this should be somewhat... Um, to what you're using. So Advanced Main recently switched to three packages. Um, and let's just go ahead and we're going to update all of our packages. Oh, you know what? I don't think I'm online on this one. We need to. This might not work, people. Right, we're now done. As you see, last updated the script two hours ago. I not only updated the script here, but I also updated all installed packages. So my Xbox controller uh, drivers were updated. MuPin was updated. The PlayStation emulator was updated. The SNES emulator had some updates. So small fixes, things like that. But you know, it's always nice to have the latest and greatest drivers. So this is uh, an emulation station here. Let's just go ahead and uh, actually go back to the RetroPie menu, and we're going to go ahead and reboot into or into track mode from emulation stage. And again, this is how you default into a track mode. So as long as I shut it down from a track mode, it will automatically boot up in a track mode. If I didn't click this button and I went and I left it in emulation station and I shut down, when I reboot my Pi, it will boot up in emulation station. All right, here we are. We have all of our collections. Still looking great. We have our collections, and then you had Final Burn Alpha and Main down there. Systems here. It's all running the Robo Spin. As far as which visual on the attract mode so um, just get this let's get this party started zombies ate my neighbors launching with snex 9x it got my controller there there we go get the teacher get some keys get this dude get this dude get this dude later nerd we gotta get this kid. There's usually something in there. Nope. Not. Wreck that little nerd over there. Get Fido over here. Alright, so as you see, this is running just fine. Great game. A lot of fun. Get to kill zombies. People seem to be obsessed with zombies these days. Walking Dead just restarted. Okay. And they're fast zombies too. Uh, you have a map on this game. Somehow. There we go. So we got a person here, probably in the water. Boom. And that's how you do it. Alright, start select. Gets us out of the game. A. Gets us back in. So, all these work. We got MSX2 working. Let's do the. Um, CPS3, let's go, uh, by JoJo's. All right, working good. Full screen, nice res. Okay, so that's working. And then if you go over, oh, I guess there's, sorry, don't play ET, guys. Don't do it. Okay. Uh, let's do, we usually do Marvel versus Capcom and Marvel Street Fighter. Let's try this one, the regular Marvel superheroes. Again, the Final Burn Alpha 2012 with this ROM set seems to work really well. You do, it does not come stock on the stock raise image. It is something that you install. 
you just go to your emulation station, go into packages, and then uh, it's an experimental packages. I think it's over near L. Damn, Spider-Man moves. He jumps a lot too. There we go. He's blocking my stuff. There we go. Get wrecked, kid. Let's KO uh, Spider-Man here. How you living? It's actually a closer game than I thought. There we go. Okay. Wolverine wrecking kids. All right. And then we have CP1. There's a great little side scroller. Again, this is running Final Burn 2012. All the CP games run really good on the Final Burn 2012. All right, you start in the city, you make your way to the museum. As far as shaders and everything, this is all just stock. I haven't really messed with them much. You bite, you can. All right, that worked. Okay, uh, go back a go to the main menu here let's go up to uh, MAME because now MAME just the, the one of the new things on the update was that MAME now has like advanced MAME changed up so Dungeons and Dragons great arcade game let's see what that's loading up so that's loading up on default but with advanced MAME 1.4 so let's just go ahead and launch that up I think that should be good. Yep, there you go. So here we go. All right, so as you can see, this is working just fine. And exit. Okay, and then final burn. Alpha. Let's scroll around. Hyper Sports. Good old Space Invaders. This one you're gonna want to uh, change the emulator on this. I bet this one likes the regular one. Regular final burn, and there you go. Select, enter some credits, hit start, play player one. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. These aliens aren't being too friendly. What happens if you hit the UFO? Wrecked them. 50 points. Okay, final burn, start select out of that one. Let's go back. Um, let's just, you know, we got a couple more to test. Probably uh, Super Nintendo, PlayStation, the PlayStation. Uh, Fight. The Mortal Kombat trilogy. A little bit of lag. Pretty good for this little pie, though. This is a uh, stock clock. 
not overclock. What? I actually dodged that. There we go. Get out of my kitchen. I know none of this guy's move. There we go. The moving punch. There you go. <laughs> okay. So there you go. Uh, PlayStation. Let's do a Nintendo 64. I mean, Sega, Super Nintendo, all that stuff works just fine. It really doesn't uh, take up much graphical power from the Pi. Off-road, very laggy, but it worked. New Tetris is really where the lag starts to... Uh, you see the lag getting out into it. A lot of sports games. Monopoly. Micro Machines is a little laggy. I always play Mario Kart, so we play something different. Zelda has a really long intro. Killer Instinct is way too laggy to play. Fast Hunter works. Hot Wheels way laggy. Donkey Kong actually works pretty well, but it has a freaking long intro. Let's do F zero X. So the Mew Pin sixty four plus glide that's almost always what I choose to use. Let me lower the volume here because I know it's loud. Okay, so there you have it. You got your Super Famicom, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Virtual Boy, Game Boy Color, Advanced, Regular Game Boy, Family Disk System, PC Engine, MSX 2 and 1, Atari Lynx, Atari 7800, 2600, Capcom CP 1, 2, and 3K, your track mode setup. You got a bunch of different collections here. You got your main, your final burn alpha, more collections, your top 100. By the way, if you haven't seen that video, I test all 100. More collections. Back to uh, PSP Portable Minis, PlayStation, SG-1000, Genesis, and Mega Drive. And TurboGrafx, don't forget those.
And then we also have these little PSP minis. Touch Racing Nitro. This is kind of cool to try it out. Tournament. Beginner. Dang, she looks kind of hurt. Yeah, it's fine. It's a cool little game. It's kind of like Revolt meets, uh, Revolt meets, uh, what's that game? Off-road. What is that thing? Nitro. Oh shoot, the boost. Oh, oh man, what is this move? What is this move? Wrong way. Okay, there you go. Is there a break by that? Oh, there you go. The break is there. Why? <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. No way. Do I have to go back? Okay. I had to go back around the whole track. Oh, you gotta be careful about that. <laughs> I know this is wrong, wrong way. Oh, this is not good, people. This is not good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, okay, that button reset to you. Okay, I should have known that there's a reset button. I'm in fourth position out of seven laps. What do you guys think? You're like, now if you keep doing that. Oh, just... This is my first time playing this game, guys. You gotta give me some credit here. Oh, and I used all my pros. There's gotta be like a way to drift in this game, because when you hit your brakes, it doesn't drift the back end at all. I guess you don't use the brakes. Oh, I got the nitro at least. Fourth position. Not doing so well. Five laps. I need at least one. All right, you know, screw this game. Screw this game. Okay, so I would have lost it. It's like fourth place. Look, it's Tiny Hawk. It's not Tony Hawk, guys. But Tiny Hawk. It's a good Tetris game. Terminator. Snap. Snap. Supermarket. I mean, you got Sudoku. I mean, how cool is that? That's what I want to do with my pie. No hate. No, seriously. It's all good. Some people like Sudoku. Sky Force looks like 1942. Okay, let's go back out here. So as you can see, thousands and thousands and thousands of games to play on this system. Uh, or on this image, still holding up strong. You can run it in a track mode. You can run it in emulation station. You can change the layout. You know, it's all up to you how you want to customize it. But uh, it's still a solid image. And you'll notice all the images that are coming out right now are just variations of this. So uh, it's a good starting point. It's a solid image. If you have any questions, please comment below. I hope you liked this video. If you could, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on the next one.